This week on Headhunter Chronicles. This week on Headhunter Chronicles, Jason finds himself in Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. His target is the desert bighorn sheep, one of Mexico's most elusive animals. But first, it's time for him to check his gear. Enough. Kill a sheep, right? Yep. The next morning, Jason and his crew headed to the camp early to try and beat the hot Mexican sun. Let's do it. Let's go look for the desert bighorn. The trip into camp was gonna be a tough one. An hour by car and three hours by mule. They made me switch horses. They wanted to go sheep hunting, not to a rodeo. They said the other one was a little bit excitable and gets nervous if you have a gun or a bow on your, on your back, so we switched to a smaller mule. The things we do to kill stuff. been riding up this canyon for the last couple hours on these mules. They're getting hot and tired, so we're gonna give them some water. There's a nice water hole here, and then get back on the trail, go up top of the mountain and find some sheep. We made it to camp, about a three hour horse ride, hour car drive, so we're pretty far in the middle of nowhere. We're just, just below the ridge here, I guess up on the other side of the ridge where we're gonna be hunting sheep, so we're gonna camp in the opposite side of it so we stay out of the wind. Got the saddles and all the gear off the mules and we came up to this little ridge here, just gonna start looking for sheep. Every branch has thorns on it, so you're rubbing your knees and your arms, everything you touch has a thorn on it, so these, uh, these sheep live in some pretty tough terrain. With the daylight fading, it was time for Jason and his crew to head back to camp for some dinner. Yeah. I don't know, 
Spanish. <laughs> I only know when they talk uh, when they talk Spanish, they say diga 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 diga. Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Or diggy 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 Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> There's no Spanish for that, right? Mm -hmm. Can you say? Next morning, Jason and the crew got up early to head out and start looking for the desert bighorn sheep. Nobody said sheep hunting's easy. find some sheep that we saw yesterday. There's about 10 of us and everybody split up yesterday and these guys found a ram over here. But we haven't got to see it yet. You try to locate them now that we're getting close. in the desert but there's quite a bit of water in all these drainages every canyon has water so far so it's not too bad we saw a couple of ewes sitting up on the up on the cliff bank but we're trying to sneak around them here hopefully they won't see us and keep looking for the ram that the guide saw yesterday so hopefully we'll get lucky It looked like there might be an opportunity for Jason to end this hunt early. Unfortunately, once Jason made it up to the top where they spotted the rams, they were nowhere to be found. The canyons of Mexico can be very deceptive and opportunities can slip by quickly. into a long day. It's been a rough day coming down to this canyon. It's real rocky all through the creek beds and luckily enough we had water and stuff like that but we never did come across a ram we're looking for. Now it's getting dark and we've got a long ways to go so we're gonna make a little camp here, camp out for the night. We don't have much water, much food, especially any camping gear but we can rough it for a night and hopefully get a ram in the morning.
Mossy Oak started in West Point, Mississippi just 25 years ago. This is home. It's like Mayberry. Everybody knows everybody. Oh, it's Mayberry, all right. Nobody gets in a hurry around here unless it's hunting season. I've been cutting them boys' hair for 25 years, and I'm still cutting. We got to charge your cubs double because his head's so big. Those guys at Mossy Oak, they know how to tear up a truck. It always gets worse during hunting season. Man, the turkeys are gobbling. You got to shit. Those things change, the more they stay the same. Got you covered, Barney. Let's go. How does Elite Archery build the most accurate bows in the industry? It all starts with innovative design and comes together by using the best materials available. At the revolutionary two-track cam system, and you've got the smoothest draw, highest let off, and a rock-solid back wall, all backed by the industry's only lifetime fully transferable warranty. That's how Elite Archery delivers the most accurate bows in the business. See what the excitement's all about today at your local Elite dealer. Sleep, Jason? No, not at all. <laughs> Rams one, Jason zero. Um, we saw a few small small rams and we saw a couple ewes but we didn't see the ones that we were going after. We've worked our way all the way through the mountains and they've given us the slip so we're going to walk this creek out, grab the vehicle that's going to pick us up and then head back to the main camp and do it all over again. Jason decided to head into town to grab some fresh food and check out some of the local sites. Refreshed, Jason and his group make the long trek back up into the mountains. second camp so I guess we'll get set up and it's only 10 o'clock so I'm sure we'll get camp set and go look for sheep. some shade here in the rocks. It's, the sun's pretty high and the sky is pretty brutal today. The, normally we've been having some wind in the afternoons, but this the last couple afternoons there's been no wind and been super hot. But that's hunting in the desert, you know, desert sheep. I think the key word to desert sheep is desert. 
it's pretty harsh conditions and you just gotta keep moving and keep glassing. These guys gotta go to water someday and each one of these canyons have water so we're just gonna keep glassing and hopefully find a big ram. This is our sixth day. We've been trying to bow hunt but we haven't even seen a ram yet so I figured this far into the hunt we, we put the bow down and grabbed a rifle and we're gonna try our hardest with a rifle just so we can get us a sheep. It looked like the sheep had decided to bed down early that evening, so Jason and his crew decided to do the same. Making us a rocky campsite. I don't know if lay there, like, looks it's like a rutting big ram. Making me a rut pad. This segment is brought to you by Easton Arrows, the world's most advanced arrows for the world's most advanced hunters. Expect the best. It's the second to the last day of Jason's bighorn hunt here in Mexico, and they're working on getting close to a nice ram. Not sure where he went. Um, he was bedded down, but now we gotta try to find him again. He must have got up. We're within 300 yards of where he was bedded. I missed. Yeah, right. I freaking missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's been a tough hunt. That's good. That's good. You know. Hey, it's a sec. Almost the last day. We have uh, one day left, and we found this ram. We've had a super tough hunt. The moon and the heat has been killing us, so that we just cannot find sheep. And uh, this is the, the best ram we could find, and I, it's a decent ram, so we took him. Um, still shaking, I'm a little bit excited here. It's a Grand Slam ram, thanks to Grand Slam Ovis Club and Acampo Hunting Ventures. Wow, we got seriously lucky. It's only about 30 feet from a huge cliff. He's a great ram, a lot heavier than I thought. And, uh, and he smells like a sheep, I love the smell of sheep. This magnificent animal live. I mean, I can't imagine living here in these environments all my life, the way these animals do. And I've shot goose deer, desert mule deer, and now a desert sheep. And you just, whenever you get up to them, you just can't believe how soft they are and how good condition they're in. I mean, you would think these guys would just be beat up and wore out from all the stickers. I mean, I'm, I'm scratched from head to toe fighting these brush and glyphs all, all week long. This is actually a really special ram. It's my 12th sheep. And it's kind of funny, I, I talked to Dennis Campbell from Grand Slam Ovis Club when I drew the raffle ticket. I'm actually the 12th person to ever draw this. This is the 12th year that Alcampo Hunting Adventures and Grand Slam Ovis Club have done this three-quarter slam drawing. And uh, it actually ended up turning out to be my Grand Slam Ram, my 12th sheep. And uh, it also counts, it makes my triple slam, which is because I have 12 of the capra animals. The guides are spectacular. These guys, you know, they, they know these the whole areas. I mean, they know where the trails are. Where uh, I mean, everywhere we go, there's already trails, and, and it's pretty neat. We're always finding little caves to find shade, and I, I just had a blast. You know, you got to stay positive. There was times I was laying, in, you know, in, in my sleeping bag in the rocks at nighttime, thinking, why do I do this? But come morning time, you, you, you know why.
Poncho, he's the head guide here, and uh, he's, he's guided hundreds of sheep. And uh, they, they guide all the sheep hunters all year long, and he, he's guided the back in the government day, so he's, he's been here for a long time. He's actually part, part of the landholder here, and it's a huge piece of property, and they, they figure there's about 400 to 450 animals here, and so that, that's a great population for the, for the size of this mountain range, and just a small little mountain range here in South Baja. Big head on this guy. Nice big sheep, I would say he's gonna be 160 pounds, probably 155, 160 pounds. Great ram, I mean, perfect condition. You know, a lot of people think that the, the desert sheep is probably the, the holy grail of the North American animals. I probably, you know, tend to agree with it. I, I really like the, the Rocky Mountain Bighorn. I mean, that's kind of my, my favorite sheep in the whole world, but um, you know when it comes to supply and demand and there's not a lot of desert sheep and actually you know there's a lot of foundations, Grand Slam Ovis Club, Fanals, SCI, there's just a lot of people involved with desert sheep and uh, just the population's going up every year. There's more and more tags, more and more opportunities for people to hunt these and it's just glad I got to do it. I've been putting in for drawings for a long time. Thanks, Grand Slam Ovis Club and Acampo Hunting Adventures. Buenas suerte esta noche en la rifa.